This video will accomplish two things that you need at the beginning of a semester. The first thing is to being able to combine uh, courses. Maybe you have two sections of the same course and you want to merge them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is being able to bring content from another course into your um, blank course. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to courses and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to go to all courses. This is how we merge courses. So we find the first course. So we're going to use Mr. Haddix here as an example. Uh, he has a section 25, 27, and 28, and he wants those all to be in the same course. So we choose one course that is going to be the main. And so we're going to choose the section 25. And then we need to pay attention up here at the top in the boon.instructure.com slash courses. There is a number, a five-digit number. And in his case, I'm going to write down uh, 64286. That's the course number. And so we're going to, we need Canvas's course number. So we need that number. So this is section 25, and that's the main number. So our next thing we need to do is we need to go back to courses all courses, and now we're going to bring um, his section uh, 27 into 25. So we click on your second section, and then we're going to go down to settings, and when you're in settings, then you will go to sections and you will click on section that section and then we're going to hit cross list and we're going to in that spot type that number 64286 and notice it's kind of grayed out if you just hit enter it'll show up and then you can hit cross list now when we look at that section 25 if you check your people, you can see that you have students from both sections, 27 and 25. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back to that third section. Now, you may only have two sections, and that's okay. You would go to, if you have three, you'll go to that third section and do the exact same thing. So that's how you merge two classes together. The second part of this video is how we bring our content that we've just taught or in a master course, into the course, our course for next semester. Now that we have, uh, we have verified, or we've combined any courses that we need to combine, you want to do that first. Now we're going to bring content into it. So um, this is the blank course. This is section 25. So this is his next semester, uh, first block, second semester uh, class. But he's already taught this class in... Um, or this semester. So to be able to bring all the content from this semester's course or a master course, that's the second part of the video. So we are going to go to the empty course. There are a couple different ways to do this, but I find that this is um, probably, uh, especially when you're moving a whole course. Um, so we're going to click on, this is that section 25 that is blank. And we're going to choose Import Existing Content. And we're going to select Copy a Canvas Course. And this is where we're going to either choose a master course, or in this case, we're going to choose his uh, class that he taught this semester. And we want to choose Select Specific Content. I do that because sometimes there are things we don't necessarily want to bring over. And Please, please, please make sure you adjust events and due dates. Remove the due dates. Otherwise, you're going to have a whole lot of things on a kid's to-do list for last semester. So you definitely want to remove those dates. Once we have that, we're going to click Import. And then we have this um, Select Content off to the right-hand side. We choose that. Course settings, that means like the navigation. We want that to come over. Maybe you want your syllabus. I have a bunch of, I'm going to go ahead and take my all of the assignments, the quizzes, the pages, the files. Now, you might look at the announcements, these little arrows here. If you click that arrow, 
it'll show you and you could click maybe just one of them, um, but we're not gonna take the announcements over. So we're just gonna leave that one blank. Once you're done with that, then you go ahead and hit select content. It's queued to come over and it will run. And once it's finished running, mo almost everybody will have like 74 issues or three issues. Those issues are coming from you have assignments that don't have due dates because we removed them, which we wanted to do, but we have it is set up to sync. And so when you give it a due date, that's when you want to tell it to sync. So just copying over those, you will have some errors. I wouldn't worry about the errors. Those will be fixed when you click on um, sync courses. So, um, or when you click on sync grades. So see, he has 25 issues and they all are this, uh, you have this particular assignment without a due date and you are asking it to sync something. So we're not worried about those issues, but now when you click on home, in that course, everything from the existing course has now come over.